64 years after his playing days at NC State ended, Dick Dickey still is one of just three Wolfpack basketball players ever to earn All-American honors three times. He remains the only state player ever to earn first team all-conference four times. Dick Dickey, first of all, was a strong athlete and would fight you to death for loose balls and had a great uh, jump shot, loved to run Indiana basketball, grew up that way. He knew whatever Case uh, wanted and how he played. Uh, he did not want to lose at, at tiddlywinks, you know. He, he just was a great competitor. All he wanted to know from Coach Case is, what do you want me to do? I'll do it. What do I have to do to win? He was a great teammate. I, I love playing with him. With Dickey playing the lead role, NC State enjoyed nothing but success during his time in Raleigh, compiling a 107-22 record and winning the Southern Conference Championship all four years. As a sophomore in 1947-48, he led the Wolfpack to a 29-3 mark, third best in program history. Two years later, he combined with fellow Hall of Famer Sammy Rosino to take NC State to its first ever Final Four and a third place national finish. Dick Dickey was an outstanding team man, passing the ball, offensive wise, working hard, good defensive man, had an excellent attitude. He was a winner. Dickey's impact at NC State goes far deeper than victories and individual honors, however. A flashy and innovative player, the six-foot-one Dickey was the centerpiece of Everett Case's first wave of Hoosier hotshots. Players from basketball-crazed Indiana who helped revolutionize college basketball in the South with their electrifying fast-break style. Dick Dickey was probably the one player who put us on the map more so than anybody else. We were playing in Madison Square Garden, and then the next night I got a cab. I fell said, you whip back yeah. He said, God, hey, he said, that Dickey, that Dick Dickey, greatest player I ever seen, Dickey. All I could hear all the way there was Dickey, you know. In an era when players typically shot free throws underhanded, and the accepted shooting style for field goal attempts was the two-handed set shot, Dickey had perfected the one-handed jump shot. His playing style was 90 miles an hour, beginning to, to finish. And that, that's why we just ran away with everybody. I'd never seen anything like it. Of course, they shot differently, you know. We had the two-handed thing, you know, and here they come in inch, And that was entirely different. Nobody ever seen it. NC State hoops became the hottest ticket in town, and Dick Dickey became the Wolfpack's first ever All-American. Dickey remained close to the NC State program over the years. More than anyone else, Dickey was responsible for NC State recruiting point guard Monty Tao in 1971 thus securing an essential piece of the Wolfpack's first national championship team. You know, my younger brother once was talking to Dad, and, and Dad said to him that, you know, the sky can sometimes be Carolina blue, but if you cut yourself, you always bleed Wolfpack red. And Richard Dickey, body and soul, was chock full of Wolfpack red. And I know he and our family I want to thank you for this honor.